Happy new comic book day, everyone. Let's see what I'm picking up and especially what you guys are picking up. Please leave a like while the intro plays. For my 1,000th subscriber giveaway contest, all you need to do is like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and you have a chance to win this Darth Vader number three, first appearance of Dr. Afra, 9.8 in a CGC. Good luck, everyone. How's it going, everybody? My name is Jordan, and welcome to Basement Collectibles, and if you like new comic book day, toys, movies, and arcades, please consider subscribing for more great content. I hope everybody was able to pick up what they wanted last week. Um, throughout the comments, a few of you were mentioning about Barbaric number one and White number one. I was able to pick up Barbaric number one, and as soon as I got, or see, as soon as I saw the cover, the homage to Conan the Barbarian, I had to pick up this cover. So please let me know in the comments below if you've read Barbaric number one. I haven't had a chance, or at least been able to pick it up. And did you pick up White number one? So for the ongoing series, I'll be picking up Batman 110. It's stated that it's Batman versus Peacekeeper and the Ghostmaker versus the Instigator. I'm also picking up Noctera number five. This is a great series. Hopefully you guys are reading it. Let me know in the comments section below. Picking up also Geiger number four and Firepower number 13, which I believe it's a new arc. For new series that I'll be picking up is Skybound 10 number one. This is Skybound's 10th anniversary and for all you Walking Dead fans like myself, it states it's the first appearance of Clementine, a character originally introduced in Telltale's The Walking Dead video game. Anthology of stories including Rick Grimes 2000, a story of The Walking Dead number 75, and it's going to be a five issue limited series celebrating of course Skybound's 10th anniversary. So if you're a Walking Dead fan, I've read all the Walking Dead comics. I'm really looking forward to this Rick Grimes comic book. Another series that I'll be checking out is Ordinary Gods number one by Image Comics. This is stated that it's five gods from a realm beyond our own have been trapped on a faraway planet forced into an endless cycle of human death and must find a way to become gods again. I really like to grab a couple first issues here and there so definitely want to check this out. In this book I mentioned last week but uh, Wonder Girls number two hopefully this hits the shelves um, this week and I'll definitely be picking up Wonder Girls 2 if I can find it. I see there's a few series from Bad Idea that's coming out but please let me know in the comments below if any of your comic shops actually sell Bad Idea. I was able to get uh, one series but I had to be from somebody that I just found on Kijiji to grab one of the titles earlier this year. So let me know in the comments below are you guys picking up any Bad Idea comics or do you at least have any on the shelves that you can look at? My give it a shot comic for the week has to go to Masters of the Universe Revelation number one. This is supposed to be the prequel to the new Netflix cartoon show Masters of the Universe Revelation. I'm a big Masters of the Universe fan as you can see behind me with all the toys, but uh, I definitely like to give the first issue a shot and go from there. Another comic to note is Nottingham number two, the third print. I definitely recommend this series to anybody with all these new prints coming out from the mini series you might actually be able to get a chance to pick up a copy I find at my stores I'll find the odd copy here and there so if you get a chance to read it I definitely recommend it or at least wait for the graphic novel to come out and the cover of the week has to go to X-Men number one the variant cover this variant cover art is by J Scott Campbell and it's limited to 2500 copies so really nice cover of Rogue if you can find it, uh, I definitely recommend picking it up. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but it's a really nice cover. And the pick of the week has to go to Nice House on the Lake, issue number two, JT4, DC Black Label. If you haven't read the first issue, I highly recommend it if you can still find an issue at your LCS. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next. I won't spoil it. I also did a quick review on it in a previous video, so definitely check that out if you get a chance. But definitely the pick of the week for me is Nice House on the Lake, number two. So those are the comics that I'm picking up for July 7th. Please let me know in the comments below, though, especially what you guys are picking up. Like I said, I would have missed out on Barbaric number one if a few of you hadn't recommended it. So let me know in the comments below what you guys are picking up this week. And hopefully we can find some specs or investment or just a good read. So that's it for this video, everybody. Really appreciate all the new subscribers. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Please leave a like, a comment on your way out, and I'll see everybody on the next video. Take care.